For the March primary, election signs for measures and candidates are a common sight along the roadway, but some are being stolen or vandalized. Action News Network reporter Shade Pullen is live at the Chico Police Department. So, Shade, how big of a deal is this sort of crime? Yes, Haley. So today I spent part of the day at the Chico Police Department and they told me that vandalizing or stealing any signs is a big deal and it can result in two misdemeanor criminal charges, jail time and or fees. The police department tell me that removing or vandalizing a sign on someone's yard is also a violation of someone's First Amendment right to freedom of speech. I spoke to two people, I'm sorry, I spoke to one person in the community who told me how they like to see signs and how they put one on their yard to bring awareness to different issues and to bring awareness to issues that people will be voting on or for against. Well, it's very important. Um, I feel like enough people there's too many people that don't know about this development and it's just a way of communicating to that that there is support for it so you said that you're apprehensive about other political signs because of do you feel like they might come for your house or something like that or yeah, oh, okay I, do. I feel like they might vandalize my house The Chico Police Department also did tell me that damaging or stealing any signs is not a part of the um, civil civic process. Uh, Chico PD says if anyone witnesses or sees anyone tampering with anybody's political signs to contact Chico PD's non-emergency line to report the crime. Reporting live in Chico, I'm Shadi Pullen with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. All right. Thanks, Shadi. Again, police say that they work diligently to apprehend people who violate the law.